Hello, this video shows how to create an app, in, in this case a Windows Forms app, with a web browser control uh, from the uh, company Orsomium. So, <clears throat> first I show you what the, the control should do. I'm opening with this small web, in this uh, web form, the, uh, the control. The control is here inside and I open the translate site from Google. So Google tr works with um, the Ajax controls or I, I think so, or a dynamic stuff. <coughs> then I say, okay, set some text in there and Google automatically uh, translates that stuff. So I'm, I'm also able to the, uh, to type something else in there <coughs> and Google automatically does it. So the control is like a web control and, uh, as an object. And then I say, okay, give me the result. So I uh, the, the control reads the ele this element from there. Now we, uh, we will create that sample. Uh, first I <coughs> go to Visual Studio and in this case I'm creating a um, uh, Windows Forms object because I need that stuff later in, a, in another project, the WPF project, uh, not in, in a Word project that's ribbon bar. Okay, first let's go. Uh, with a <coughs> I create a new web project, a classic desktop, uh, and I will say this is uh, WinForms. WinForms <coughs> browser uh, or Somium Somium 02. Or Somium, is it written right? Uh, I'm not sure. Or Somium <coughs> or Somium. And now I say okay. Now this is my default web form and as soon as I'm here I will first uh, my toolbox on the toolbox and I need for the in the toolbox um, split container <coughs> and I set the uh, I dock it to the parent control so it's uh, maximum uh, we need it as a in a horizontal now oh, where is it so okay and then we need the osomium control where is it uh, element all control, all window form controls. My second stuff, maybe it's not installed yet. <coughs> now I had it here. Oh, come on. Ah, okay. Do the design mode or Somium net. So the stuff should be in orsomium.net in the global GAC. The Larry controls. No. <coughs> okay, and then I, <coughs> I downloaded the, the soft software in here. Since it's not there, I will look for my for myself for those controls. Here. I would say here general make me an <coughs> uh, add a new tab. The tab is Osomium. And I would say okay, give me uh, choose items. Here universal no it's not it should be here but it doesn't show browse 
now I have to go to the website to my site where is it I've written it down so me Windows forms those controls should be there <coughs> maybe I'll look it up in, in the other application don't need him anymore maybe I close both apps save that one and I will also close this one osomium.net okay and now I start it again I am opening the second one now let's see maybe it's there now needs a little bit time now here it is <coughs> uh, I had to close it a uh, second time I don't know why so now I am uh, entering the I drag the control in there I will say okay this is the default uh, route where it should go to and I would say um, here dock to parent control and I'm not sure now why okay and now we have it here so now I take a button, button, use a button, and I will say OK. This is my button open, <coughs> and I will say click on there, and now we say my <coughs> the control itself was called in here. Um, as you see, that's web control one. And now we say web control one source or load URL source equals um, HTTPS translate dot google dot com. Now you will see there is an error in there because we need a URI system URI. So we say you. U URI and that's it. So we started. And the the app is blank and then as soon as I push the button there then the, the site is loaded. Now we need a second one. Start and we need a second button which says uh, set to translate mm, set text to translate and this is the button set translate <coughs> and we need kill that stuff and now we go in there and <coughs> In this uh, case we have to look for the um, execute Java execute JavaScript <coughs> and now we need the document document of this of my control and <coughs> inside there mm, System is away. Um, <coughs> document get element by ID, and we also need 
the translate side. Here's my the translate side. And now when we are there, we when we have a look on there, when say when we say uh, scrutinize it stuff stuff, then we will see this element is called text area with the ID source. So the ID is source, and we say <coughs> web control. That's the dynamic control execute JavaScript. This one is get <coughs> get element get element by ID. There's a small sample written on uh, here get element. That's the HTML. Uh, JavaScript um, command and we say this one get element by ID and there I would say the inner text um, value value um, equals my name is Raimund. Now let's see if it works. And I will say load that file and say that text. And as you see, it sets the value there of the HTML element. And Google automatically trans translates that, that stuff into English. OK, now we want to get the value. We say button. That's the <coughs> the events, and here is my get my text get result, and we would say button get result, and here double click, and now we say the same. Web control execute with result. And inside there, we also take again the document. And unfortunately, in this, this uh, fast um, tutorial, there's not the, uh, the intelligent uh, Java, uh, intelligent. Uh, TypeScript stuff there, so we have you have to find it by yourself. So <clears throat> again, we are here at our translator. Now we scrutinize this stuff, and we have uh, the the stuff says okay, this is a span. The ID is result box. So I would say again, get element by ID. Yeah. We salt box as the element. And then I would say uh, inside here I need the, um, the element. <coughs> what did we have there? <coughs> um, document element. Child nodes, not the first child. What did we have there? We ha didn't have the value. We had uh, the inner text, inner text, the value point, mm, point value. Now point in uh, HTML. And we will say the result is um, string as result equals this one. And we say we, say we need a message box <coughs> as result. Now we run that stuff. And I think there's something wrong. I'm not sure there. Starting, translating, and give me the result. So that's uh, the inner result, but we don't want this to span uh, text there. 
so the inner result is not inner HTML it is <coughs> the it's not inner HTML it's inner text or in a text uh, I've written it down so I have to open on my project here are my examples and here I have the osomium and the previous one and when I start the other one I've written it down in my file so I remember all that time and I've written it also in here let's see where's my stuff there it is here h element uh, HTML document element and we have there all those um, properties and classes and uh, events and I don't need the inner HTML I need text content now we take the same one again <coughs> and sometimes if we don't know everything then we will look it up in a file now we have start we set the text there it translates that that stuff and then now I, I would say okay give me the result so this was the example of of the osomium uh, web browser control and the, this one this control is free for uh, low budget uh, developers like me and <coughs> you will find it at Orsomium and in there you're able to uh, to download it here's a download link at Orsomium and they also have um, here so at support they have a small yeah, quite beautiful um, declaration what they do how to uh, use this control and he also in here that's a little bit better it's with a with a tree and here we have the windows forms for example and that's the web control and here are the methods and properties all that stuff and yeah and and you have to download it as soon as you download it then when you download it then there should also be uh, installed those controls in your toolbox and then you only have to drag and drop it inside there so that's quite pretty easy and you're very easy uh, it's very easy to make an application with this stuff since the web control from from uh, Microsoft is not that stable on all points uh, when I when you use it uh, when you use the web browser control in the uh, in a web uh, in a Windows 32 application with a co as a wrapped in a com object then you have a lot more problems in there you will see okay there's something like this and you always get problems there's also com control in their web browser control that it doesn't like to work there so i hope i could help you in the installation of the osomium or chromium based um, uh, chrome browser control <laughs>